Okay, what we have here is a Lincoln Continental with a rear suspension sagging. Now, I'm videotaping this because it might be 20 years before I get into the car like this. I believe it's a 1986, but you can see the rear suspension is completely slammed. So, I'm going to check to see what year it is. Should be right on the door. And the production date is 05. 86 so it's definitely a 1986 Lincoln Continental back in his day This thing was state-of-the-art. It has all the buttons Up here in the dashboard for different features. It even had a keyless entry back in the 86 But what we have here is a suspension issue So we're gonna go ahead and turn the key on you're gonna hear a motor kick in That motor is coming from up here up in front in the hood. So we're going to pop the hood. There it is. And it's coming right from this guy right here. This is your whole suspension air pump. This is your air pump for your air suspension in the front and the rear. So what happened was it actually just noticed that the rear breath was sagging. So it's going to pump that up right now and you'll see it, it's going to start to rise. And it should be going up pretty soon here. It takes a while for it to overcome the air pressure or the weight of the car, this should go up. There it goes. See you lifted? So I'm going to wait till it pumps all the way up, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you how to find leaks. This customer of this car paid $85 for someone to diagnose what's wrong with the system. And he couldn't figure it out. So I'm going to show you the secret. Uh, I'm going to let it pump up. And then I'm going to show you the, how to turn it off. But first off, you always start with the pump. And what you start with is the water bottle. So I'm going to just spray the pump right here. And you're going to notice it leaking. You see the bubbles? The bubbles mean that there's an air leak right here. A huge air leak. So what he needs immediately from the get-go, from the start, is he needs a bunch of new O-rings inside, inside here. So these things are easy to remove, but first what I, how I found this leak, so I just started wiggling and I heard the leak coming from there. So to change these things, it's real easy. You want to hold that for me? All you do is you push down on the yellow right here, or the orange, and that releases the clip, and then you can pull the air line right out. And then to change the O-ring, you pop these clips off right here, and you, it, it's a whole little kit that costs probably about $30 at the dealership to change. But he does have an air leak here on three of the lines. So you push on the orange thing, you push, and then you pull, and then you would just swap out the orange collar with the new O-ring inside. So we know he definitely has an air leak coming from his pump right here. But I think he has more than just the air leak right here. Let's see. Is it going to delete? Well, we saw the bubbles earlier, so that worked out. Now, before we lift this car, we actually have to... We actually have to pump the trunk and turn the suspension switch off. So this... If you lift these cars before you pull the switch or push the switch, you could actually pop the air suspension airbags. So in the back back here, there's an airbag switch to turn off your air suspension. If you don't hit this little switch and you lift this car up, you can damage your airbags. So now we're going to go and check our airbags. You want to lift it up for me? Yeah. So 
Well, as you can see, it's completely pumped up. But he goes down the road, and this thing will all of a sudden start sagging in the rear. So we're going to go underneath. We'll start with the front, and then we'll work to the rear. We're going to need a light, so let me get the light going. So I'm going to plug in my drop light so we have some light. Now I'm going to go underneath the car. I'm actually going to spray the suspension. Okay, so you can see this airbag spring right here. This is the airbag. This is your air suspension. And now all you do is take soapy water and it's going to usually leak right from the bottom. Never right in the center. Always the bottom, right where it rubs against to where it mounts to. Right here or you're going to mount it right at the top. You want to hold the light for me? So I'm going to spray the top and the bottom. And you look for bubbles. No bubbles there, no bubbles at the bottom. Move on to the next spring. Let's go over to this side. Same thing. You're going to spray the bottom. And you're going to spray the top. And you look for bubbles. No bubbles there. Okay, so we're pretty good there. Let's go to the back side. I want to show you the ride height sensor. So you could actually adjust your air suspension right here by loosening this little lock nut and moving your sensor right here up and down which will raise and lower your car. So that is all connected fine. Same on this side. Check your air suspension right here and it's all good. Okay. Now I would show you the air, I would check the air lines but the air lines are in a real tight area and the camera won't fit there. But let's go to the rear where, it's, where I know the problem's at. Alright, so here's my rear air spring and I'm going to go ahead and spray it and look for bubbles. And you can see right there, bubbles forming. Big bubbles. And up at the top, spray there, see if we've got big bubbles coming up. You could hear the leak. Let's see, go on the inside. Yep, right there. Get the light starting there. So you can see the air bubbles coming in right there. There's your there's your leak right there. Matter of fact, if you pull push on this, you, you could probably see where it's cracked. Go over here. So all these little fine cracks is where it's leaking from. So we need an air spring right here. But it is really leaking. I could hear it hissing. Let's try this one. Look at that. All those air bubbles right there. That airbag is leaking and when he goes down the road, the first big bump he goes over, he's going to lose all his air and his suspension is going to slam on the ground. Let's check the top. And so all you need to do to check your air, your air suspension is use soapy water. Pretty simple. This guy has to have a really big leak, but... Okay, see up in the top up there? There's your sensor at the very top, right up in there. That's where your sensor mounts and that's where your air line goes in, right up in there. So when you do the airbag, you got to definitely check that area up there for leaks. But the main leaks seems to be coming right from, actually over here you can hear it. It's right here. Uh, yeah, you could definitely hear how the hissing is changing. By pushing it, it's actually sealing it. You hear that? Mm -hmm. So there's our problem. So, anyways, I would charge a hundred bucks to diagnose this, and then probably about 150 plus parts for each side. Okay, good deal.